Olam. All right. Well, good afternoon, fellow students. Uh, today, I will be talking to you about proper flag etiquette. Okay, and the respect and the honor of our symbol of liberty, freedom. We all know it. It's the United States flag. The stars, and stripes, the red, white, the blue. Okay. So, uh, so how many of you know? how to properly display a flag. Hmm, well, okay, we'll see about all that. Well, most <laughs> people, they are not even aware uh, of proper flag etiquette. Uh, did you know that it was against the flag code, section 8B, to wear the flag on any article of clothing, paper napkins, plates, anything that is disposable, uh, it is, uh, it's the code. So we all do it, right? Of course we do. Okay? Because we're showing our patriotism. Okay? Uh, so let's discuss a few ways on how to uh, display the flag. Now, if the flag if it's displayed upside down, that is a signal of distress. Never ever allow the flag to touch the ground. Okay? Uh, it's not supposed to be used in advertisement. But that's okay. Uh, you would never ever carry anything in the flag. Okay. Some myths about the flag. The flag should be destroyed. It touches the ground. Ergo, there is no reason to destroy the flag. The best thing to do is to hand wash it. Let it air dry. And then, after it's dry, you can display it. Some of the things uh, that you should do, if you do need to retire the flag, you need to retire the flag because it's torn or frayed. You know, you've displayed your flag you know, for a number of hours. It is befitting to burn. That is showing respect and honor to our symbol of liberty and freedom. Uh, now some people, they like to display the flag 24 hours a day, and that's okay. Again, it's okay to do that. But there are a few things that should be adhered to. One, it should have, if it's gonna be displayed, proper lighting, that light casting on, on the flag. Not to be in the dark. Have to have light. Also, if there's bad weather, storms, or anything of that nature, you want to go ahead on and bring that. You know, bring it in. When the storm is past, go ahead and display it. Okay. There are some times where the flag must and be displayed by executive board. 21 specific days. We know probably a majority of them. Some I did not know personally. Uh, I did not know about a Navy Day. I did not know about a Peace Officers Memorial Day. And there was one more. Oh, and Patriots Day. I did not know of those, so I, I learned something in the research as well. So let's talk about, I did a demonstration last week on how to fold the flag. Okay. So, and there was a, a discussion about how many times the flag should be folded and what they represent. Okay, so there are 13, 13 folds. And the first fold, it is a symbol of life. Okay. Or the individual's life, I should say. Because backing up just a little bit, the flag, it can be displayed on a casket. The way that it is displayed on the casket, the field of blue and the stars would be at the head and over 
the left, the left shoulder, which is the closest point to the heart. When it is then lifted off, it's raised, and it's raised very meticulously, and then walked away, sidestep. And it is folded with honor and dignity, 13 folds. So again, the first fold represents life. The second fold is the eternal life. The third, that is made in honor of remembrance uh, to the uh, veteran or service member that's, that's leaving, that has departed. The fourth, that represents the weaker nature, the citizen, those that have lost uh, him or her. The fifth fold, that fifth fold, that is a tribute to our country and in the words of uh, Stephen Cater, uh, our country, and the healing of other countries, she always be right, but it is still our country, right or wrong. So uh, as, as we go, you know, on to the flags, uh, the, the six uh, is where our heart is, uh, where our heart lies. The seventh fold is a tribute to the armed forces, Eighth is a tribute uh, to uh, the one in the valley, the shadow of death. The ninth is a tribute to womanhood, the mothers that have lost their son and daughter. The tenth is a tribute to the father, who's always given sons and daughters. The eleventh represents the lower portion, the David. The 12th represents the emblem of eternity. And the 13th fold, uh, the flag will be in its complete. This in the triangle. The stars are laying on the field 